And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. All things is a very, very big phrase. And it really does mean all things work together for our good because he goes on and he talks about enduring tribulation and distress and persecution and famine and nakedness and peril and sore down in verse 35. And he says, in all those things, we are more than conquerors, meaning they're all working together for our good. Or verse 32, how will he not give us all things since he gave us Christ? So the all things really does include the most painful things in the world. That's why this verse has historically been so precious to suffering Christians. So here's the question. For whom is this promise true? And the verse contains two answers, right? For those who love God and are called according to his purpose. 